So I'm going to share with you something crazy I found out today from a company member. Apparently, these special deer, the weird forest ones, they poop. And when they poop, it drops something really special. So these deer, every now and then, they'll do an animation where they drop a little blue essence on the ground. And when that happens, you have about 20, 30 seconds to go pick it up. And if you do, it'll give you soul quintessence with a Q, quintessence, which is amazing. If you're a jewel crafter and you need soul quintessence, it's a great way to get it instead of spending, you know, 100 plus coins converting it. Uh, and if you are just wanting to sell it, you can also just sell it and make a little bit of money. Now, usually they'll walk and then they stop. And then once they stop, you just got to wait until they poop. And there it is. You see that it pooped. And then you got to go over to it. And you got to grab it fast. They disappear in about 20 seconds, I want to say. And you'll get soul quintessence, which is a pretty nice find. Now, sometimes they'll get stuck. And if they do, I'd recommend just killing them to reset them. Because when they get stuck, they don't seem to want to poop as much, if at all. So you might want to clear them out if you see them stuck like that. Oh, I think it's pooping. See that blue animation below it? And you wait a second. And sometimes it... Oh, nope, there it is. You want to go grab it? Because you only got about 30 seconds or so. Which, I don't know, in the water this might be a little bit tough. There we go. Soul Quintessence. Another two. A good thing to know is that these deer don't actually spook unless you attack them or attack something near them. So you can actually just stand right by them and wait for the poop cycle. So this spot that I'm at right now is Lambet Muskeg in Reekwater. It's going to be the lake on the right next to Shallow Time, the words on the map. And you'll find them all over this place. It's a great place to farm Quintessence. On top of that, there are a ton of the bears... And if you are strong enough to kill these bears, you can mine them for a decent amount of mining XP. But more importantly, the bears will actually drop Earth Quintessence when you mine them. So this place has uh, Earth Quintessence as well as Soul Quintessence. And you'll also see the uh, Dryad-style wolves, which these are pretty easy for anyone to kill. And if you kill these ones, you can chop them up like a tree, and they will give you not only word wood, but they'll give you Life Quintessence. So at this place, you can farm Soul Quintessence, Life Quintessence, and Earth Quintessence. Which kind of makes this spot a Jewel Crafter's dream come true, because normally to make Quintessences, you have to use, I think it was 150? I might be wrong on that, but it's over 100 moats. So you have to convert them up to Wisps, then to Essence, then to Quintessence, and it's very expensive. So you can save a lot of money by just farming these three types of Quintessence here. Also, there are three Ancient-style chests around here that you can loot, maybe about once an hour, I think. So while you're hanging out here, be sure to grab these every so often for some additional level 60 style loot. So I don't know about your server, but on my server, Soul Quintessence is a pretty hot commodity right now at least. Now this may be going out a little bit once people know about the spawn, but Soul Quintessence is between 70 and 100 usually on my server. And the Earth Quintessence is worth a little bit. So if you are killing the bears, uh, you can sell the Earth Quintessence. And then the lodestone that they drop on my server does sell, not for much, but if you come back with a few thousand of it, then uh, you can make, you know, 100 coins, 200 coins from that. And the word wood also sells on my server for, you know, a little bit. So if, again, if you come back with thousands and thousands of these and farming the wolves and the bears, uh, you can get a little bit more from it by selling it than just throwing it away. So as you can see, it's a pretty neat way to farm quintessence and even make a little bit of coins at the same time.